Righty ho! No, we're not going to can anything today. Um, but I am going to show you some uh, fantastic, or at least one of the fantastic meals that I like to make with gar uh, tomatoes that came out of your own garden. We canned these last uh, fall, and we ended up with roughly eight cases of quart jars uh, just out of our garden. And if you want to equate that into dollars and cents, we've saved roughly, just last year alone, about $1,500 in groceries. So, worthwhile advocacy for gardening. Um, but today we're going to make uh, a full uh, Italian uh, red sauce with uh, so, uh, sausage, um, Italian sausage, and uh, the Italian bread to go with it. And we're going to make the pasta that goes with it. Um, and then, of course, we're going to have to have a nice little salad with it. Um, but by the time this is all said and done, suffice it to say that you're going to have a really nice Italian meal on your hands when we're done. Stay tuned and let's get into this. So, we're going to start out with the Pampered Chef Rock Crock. Um, this is just a nice little product by Pampered Chef. Um, we made everything from soups to sauces to stews to uh, even some casserole most recently. But as I said, we're going to be starting out with some red sauce. So today, we're going to use a couple of quarts of vine ripened romas and better boy tomatoes. Uh, the combination gives you the meatiness of a roma along with the body of the better boy and uh, all good red sauces we've got some vino so we're using some red uh, cabernet and not a lot of people use this but I highly recommend rosemary you're not putting a lot of it in there but you are going to give it just enough for just that little hint of rosemary flavor and of course then we're going to throw in a quarter cup of oregano quarter cup of basil and, and this here I like especially this is a, a, a garlic powder that I made myself it took uh, seven pounds of uh, husk garlic cloves from uh, you know, Sam's Clubbers or Costco usually and uh, puree them in a, in a food processor uh, spread them out on uh, as a paste on parchment paper inside of a dehydrator for 18 hours um, and this is some of the most potent garlic powder you will ever try now we're also going to toss in not all, but a good portion of a cup and a quarter of some some white Spanish onions that we chopped up. These this few here, we got another purpose for those just yet. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and grab our Pampered Chef, uh, our favorite spatula, and mix this all up. Get it started anyway. And, and the, the crock, you can cook it. You can put it right on your stove top. Works great inside the oven as well. <clears throat> um, I haven't thought about putting it in the microwave, but I don't know why I would. It's probably not microwave safe. Yes, it is. Oh, is it? Okay, great. You can make, I made a cake in it. Oh, awesome. I made a chocolate cake. That's in the fabulous. microwave, remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that you mentioned it. So many different products that she's got that are pampered chef. Um, so we're bringing her fantastic products and my cooking together and we're hoping to tantalize your taste buds try something new okay so having said that we've got all that put together and we're going to go ahead and add to this our mushrooms our olives. And these are some of the some of the Greek olives. Greek 
garlic olives and an Italian sauce. Mm -hmm. Wonder, wonder, wonder. It'll definitely come out good. But this is going to simmer uh, for roughly five hours. Um, and it doesn't it doesn't stop there because a good sauce will take you 24 hours to make um, none of the seasoning can meld into all of the various uh, things that we've already added to this but yeah we're gonna we're gonna get some meat going here and we'll be right back so stay tuned and we're back so we're gonna go ahead and start off with some ground round that we had uh, already thought out and this is a uh, this chopper is another one of these Pampered Chef products as is this 12 inch Pampered Chef skillet uh, but look at how fast that just comes apart with, with this uh, what is this called? It's our mix and chop. A mix and chop. That word, that's a good name for it too. It does exactly that. Um, but we're gonna get that all chopped up, browned up, and then we're gonna uh, add to this uh, the rest of our onions that we were holding back. So I don't know anybody who doesn't like the flavor of onions in a uh, in, in any kind of a meat product, burger, sausage. Um, onions work good everywhere. Unless you're allergic to them. For anybody, so we're gonna go ahead and cover this up, let that bring come to temperature, and we'll be adding this and our sausage momentarily. So uh, stay tuned, we'll get into it in just a moment. Alrighty, and we're back. We got a nice sizzle going on with the burger, and uh, so as you can see. This little unit just chops that up real nice and quick and easy, no fuss, no muss. Okay, and so then to this, we're going to go ahead and toss in our sausage. them puppies simmer up uh, and then we'll get the grease off of them and they shall be ready for uh, taking the plunge into the red sauce so uh, stay tuned and we'll be back with that hey okay, we're back and we went ahead and drained off the fat just using a colander Oh, the yumminess out of the frying pan. Yeah, at least as much of it as we need. So. And so that'll just mix this all in. Now, some people like to do a wide variety of things to their spaghetti sauce. Some people like green peppers in their spaghetti sauce, which is fine. I like it that way too myself sometimes. Um, but we're gonna get some minced garlic on top of the uh, powdered garlic that we threw in here from our dehydrator. Something else that I want to add that I like to add, especially when you're dealing with garden fresh tomatoes, canned tomatoes, um, is I don't know how many people actually keep it. I know everybody's got a thing against sugar these days, but I'll tell you what, just that little tiny bit of sugar would be enough to cut the uh, tomato acid that otherwise forms. Tomatoes. 
When I say I like garlic, I really like garlic. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put that in there on top of the oh there had to have been at least 15 cloves of garlic in that uh, cup of garlic powder I added in here. And so what we're gonna do now is we have everything in here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let this, like I said, we're gonna let this simmer for about five, five and a half hours before we check out it again. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our bread. Uh, we got a really nice uh, Italian uh, fresca type bread uh, that's gonna go with this. And we're also gonna be making our own uh, linguine to go with this. And it's uh, a fresh linguine that goes straight from the noodle press directly into the boiling water. And you're ready to rock and roll with dinner. So. Um, having said that, we're going to move on to the next segment and start getting our bread ready. And so stay tuned. Uh, we're far from done. 